Let's recreate the first Lego people coming up after this. I've wanted to do this video for a long, long time, but I kept putting it off. I thought around Christmas time would be a good time to recreate these. I got these from a friend in from Europe. I think they're a lot easier to find, but I did. I live in Canada, and I had these as a kid. They were created the first in the year that I was born, so they're they're very special to me. I played with them for hours. It's funny that I don't do as many Lego videos because I I played with Legos more than any other toy probably. Uh, well, that and Masters of the Universe. And my Hot Wheels, I guess. But I loved building things and making transformable things. But it did all start with these, this family set of five. We got mom and dad, two kids, and granny. And I just made sure that I had all of the unique parts to these figures. And you can see they're all in very good condition. The boy, his freckles might be a little weirdly um, painted but I could get another head down the way. I also had, I played with these way too late in life, the Fabuland figures, but I have a nice collection of those too. So this is where I keep my vintage figures. I guess I have some extra ones of these. I never had any other sets except the family set of these. Anyway, I do have the pieces in here. We also need one of this for the bench to recreate. I have some pictures on my phone that I have to get ready. But what sprung all this was this new set from Lego. I saw these monkeys um, done in classic style and it reminded me so much of these figures. You can see that their arms are made kind of the same way. This looks like Granny's body even. So I needed to get this set first of all. And then secondly, this this video that I've been putting off for so long, I think it's time to do it. I've got all of the colored bricks from my collection that I need to create this. Red was always my favorite color, that's why I have the most of those. I love red bricks. Anyway, I have to find uh, the picture on my phone that I put here of that so I know what Lego bricks I'm looking for, hopefully. I do have all of the pieces I need in here to create these guys. I should have had the picture brought up already for me on my phone. Why didn't I do that photos? And I saved it not too long ago, so. Here they are. Um, they downloaded, I emailed them to myself. That is what we're recreating. I found this one. Look, there's a website for whoever scanned that. Thank you very much. And let's uh, let's create. Let's go. So I guess we'll start with mom. And I could have just built it, right? But let's let's test this out. Let's build some Lego on my channel. Man, their hands have a tight grip. You can see that they have these bendable arms, and the kids have shorter arms than the parents. And uh, these little tabs would break off, but I don't, all these pieces are in great condition. I'm so grateful for my friend who sent them to me from Germany. So close, close to where they were created. Okay, what pieces do I need? I need... Look, there's a, there's a Lego figure that I was building. I used to do that too when I was a kid. The hips are two of the main pieces that I need. It looks like I already have this block for her. But I need two little slants and not these three slants, but a two slant. I don't know the proper names for these things. There we go. We need that for her hips her skirt and then we need one of these for the bottom of her skirt oh maybe maybe on her here we go that was the hardest piece to find so we'll do that 
And then we do need to bring in some white too. We need a white flat tile for her. A two by two, here we go, for her belt. And then we will stick that on here. And oh yeah, I had put their, I had found their feet because that was the hardest part. I didn't have all of those um, two by three flat tiles. So that, and then yellow. Did I not get any yellow? Oh man, I have to go get my yellow bricks. How did I forget? Okay, here we go for the legs. We need two. And something I noticed on here was that. This piece right here, I guess, is all chewed up. And that actually used to happen. I used to separate these things. And I did used to use my teeth to separate these two pieces. And then you could take out this part right here and then use this as, I don't know, like a... They used to use them as bulldozer attachments or stuff like that. So little hinged arms that come out. You could use them for different little things and attach different items to there. So I did play around with that over the years. And then to get these apart is really, really hard. So there would be teeth marks in those, similar to here. Luckily, there's no teeth marks into this part. But I am going to get rid of that brick and get a fresh little two by two here and then put her together like so with all of her new pieces and only her specialty pieces will be the original ones from 1974 that is mom she is complete let me double check that I did do her correctly and yeah she is looking perfection mom is done mom cool all right let's let's keep going let's do the little boy because i'll do them in order that they're on the box the little boy has the freckles the cool thing about the hair is little girl hair mom hair and the, all they did was they designed it so well that the back makes the hair different and the same was for dad and little boy see little boy hair and then dad's hair is like that very versatile grandma's hair doesn't really work when you have a bun right in the front of her forehead but i guess that's a look as well but that's grandma unique face for her okay freckles on him he doesn't need as many bricks he needs another white belt uh oh I guess that's the last white belt I need though okay good okay I don't know how common that piece would be and then I guess I don't need the red anymore oh no I need some I need two red flat two by twos so I'm gonna pull those out for the belt but let's give him his drawer dad's also wearing some blue so maybe I'll pick out two pieces of blue for him. So we got some different shades of blue. That shade of blue didn't exist back in my day. This shade. Okay, so let's pop that in here. Can I see the difference between the colors from the old ones and the new ones? No. The Legos stay vibrant enough. And then we need a yellow bottom and the legs and he's pretty darn cute yeah just a little guy that's kind of awesome they are kind of adorable okay so i got that i want to find the two other red flat tiles that i need for this project It shouldn't be such a weird brick dip head, I don't think. I hope not. Alright, here's one. Oops, I lost it. 
second one. I have this new camera set up so you can see me working. We need one of those. We need two of those. One. Oh. That was, that's easy enough. There's probably lots of them. They're just so small on the bottom. Let's get that one out of the way. And who are we working on right now? We're working on Grandma. Oh, she's she's special. I need black. Hopefully I do have the black pieces. Yeah. She came with an extra accessory. Oh, she needs two other blue pieces for her bench. So she came with a bench. Weird that there's a gray piece. I don't think they made anything gray again until... Is it supposed to be gray or is it supposed to be white? Because gray, didn't, gray bricks didn't exist back in 70. I guess her hair was gray. Could double check that, but can I open, can I zoom in on this picture? Because it could be white in the drawing, but I'm pretty sure that it's gray there. And if it's matching her hair, hey, can I? I don't know how to use my phone. View image, there we go. I'm pretty sure that it's gray. Anyway, I could use a white if I have to. I guess it matched her hair. Maybe that's what they were going for. So she has more complicated instructions. We're gonna okay. Done with red. Let's get the black in here. Am I done with white? Do I need anything else else for white? I need one of these pieces for the little girl's upper body and she has socks on which is cute that's really cute actually so let's put those aside let's put, it, put all the ones that I need aside here and then dad's blue I've collected that we need that we need two little blue skirt pieces for the little girl let's collect that and here is another one and then she's got one yellow piece of leg showing and dad doesn't have any leg showing grandma has legs showing just one she's just showing her ankles because she's very demure and and then she has lots of black so hopefully i think that's it so let's take her feet off and Oh, white was what I was looking for. Do I need any more white? I only needed two pieces of white for sister. So let's get white out of the way. I do like how I have my colors organized. It comes in very handy to have them put this way, because that's how I build. Keeping things solid is very important to me. So, Grandma. Grandma's built the most difficult. I should dump out all of these to make it easy on us. And hopefully, I have all of the pieces I need. So we need more roof, two roof pieces for her skirt. Oh man, what if I don't have those? I'm not, I'm not seeing any. I, I have to. There's, there's no way. It's a pretty common piece. Oh, phew. I was starting to get scared that I didn't have all the pieces I need. So one. And then, and then I might as well take, we need two of this is my favorite brick. Don't ask me why. Well, it's good for building houses with. I love just using these 4 by 2s I love them. I'm just going to put those together now and put her ankle on. I'm not going to put her in the sitting position that you can put her in. Uh, and then you just need one of these. And then I'm good to go. But, oh yeah, I have to find the other slant. 2 by 4 slant. Come on. If I have one, I can't just have one, one of those. Okay, that would be 
That might be even worse if I just have one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep seeing this piece. I think I have to go back in. Uh-oh. This whole video will be a total disaster. Okay, I'm, I'm not convinced that I, I did that properly. Okay, so I'm putting these back in very, very carefully. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I found one. Oh, I was starting to get really, really scared. My whole... I mean, it's a pretty common classic piece. I think how I got most of these were from one classic set. I do have some unopened. Oh, look, there's another one. I'm sure there's plenty in here. Yeah, I think I bought one of the new classic sets. And basically, I, I love the old school bricks more than any of the new school bricks. Okay, so we have that, and then you can build her in two different ways. I guess I'll end up sitting her on the bench in the end, but let's just do her like so. There, she has her feet on like this, and then she's got and, and, and only one body pop, pop, pop. I took an extra piece. So uh, that's what Granny looks like. Yes, she's got a much longer, more demure skirt on. And that's that's Granny. And of course she is shorter because she doesn't have that extra belt piece. That's a, that's a cool little thing that they did there. But, however, there is an alternative way of creating her where you turn the skirt around like so put the feet here and you sit her down on the bench. Do you sit her back all the way? I guess so. And then so she can be a little more comfortable. We'll do that. Why not? We don't want her standing in the portrait. Can you still see Johnny? Maybe we need... Let's put Grandma at the head of the there we go. Okay, so we've got two more characters to build. We've got Daddy. Oh, they're, they're really holding on tight. They have a bond, Dad and Sister. Okay, so uh, Daddy has this, and then he's got a red belt, and then I like that. Cool that his belt goes on his waist over his shirt, or maybe it's some kind of stripe. It looks super 70s. I'm missing a black piece. I need another one of these, because Dad's tall. And maybe he needs three of them. Oh, does that look like he needs... Maybe. Is there any way for me to really tell? I guess I might have to zoom in. One, two... Yeah, he needs another leg piece to make him super daddy tall. Very, very, very cool, thin, tall daddy. I had a thin, tall daddy. My dad was 6'6". Six, six. There we go. And, uh, oh, he's uh, not as, he's not taller than his wife, though. He looks taller in the picture. Okay. That's fine. And last but not least is the little sister. And she probably has the, uh, I don't know, the coolest style. I think her socks make her look really cool. I'm going to switch her around. Ah, there's a little black dot there. I washed these really well, but I mean, they're aged. I'll use that. There we go. And, uh, then she has a red belt, and she's got the legs showing, and she's got the socks. That's what's really cute about her, and she's a different length, and I, uh, I didn't put her skirt on. I skipped her skirt. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, that's where this is where I would use my teeth when I was a kid. I forgot her skirt. Put on her skirt. And yes, oh, I guess she's got the most colors. That's what makes her different. So here is the whole family. That is so cool. Yeah, she's really, she's the most colorful. Let's put her up with grandma. And you can see that there are different heights for the little brother and sister. Let me make sure I did everything right. Check, 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 check. It's all good. It's really, look how colorful they are. I love it. I guess this is all of the colors that were available back in 1974. They look so good. I like the kids the most. They're extra special cute and they can hold hands like you were seeing before. They get a really tight grip on each other. So adorable. Granny hopefully has some presents for the kids. Some more Lego. Let me know if you like this Lego building and uh, this reminiscent of the first Lego people ever. Uh, I am really happy to have recreated these. I better take some pictures and put them on Instagram now. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Holy memory flashback. This is so good. I don't even know if I had them in there. I don't think I recreated them ever in there full on. Like I took them apart when I was a kid and because I was so young, I don't think I ever put them back together the right way. I must have though, because in my later years I was really, and still am, very to the book. And when I, you know, even play with Mr. Potato Head, I don't like to mess around and put a arm where a nose should be or anything crazy like that. Even though I'm going to be making a video very similar to that. But these are so cool. So nostalgic. First Lego people ever made. The colors are so great. This is what toys are all about for sure.